Are you interested in the ASAP2 toolset? And would you like to know how to use the updater? Let me show you how. The ASAP2 toolset consists of many different parts that we can use to create our A2L file. Today we're going to be focusing on the ASAP2 updater, which is part of A2L processing. The ASAP2 updater. First, we're going to start with an A2L fragment that contains objects without addresses. You can see that the ECU address is set to zero. Next, we're going to take our linker map file, like an ELF file, that contains the symbols, their addresses, their sizes, their data types. You can see that Vector supports many different types of map formats. Then we're going to use an INI file to configure the specific settings that we would like to use. They're detailed in the documentation. Crazy. Here you can see we're using map format 131. The ASAP2 updater is a command line application. In the beginning, when you're setting up your A2L file, you'll probably need to have an iterative process that you manually go through to get it set up properly. But once it is, you should be able to add these commands into the post-processing for your IDE when you compile code it outputs an A2L file. That's how the process is designed to work and it can be very convenient and it's very powerful. Once that works, you can see that you get the ECU address updated in your A2L file. If you found this video helpful, please check out our YouTube channel. Please, if you have more ideas for videos, let us know. If you would like help creating your A2L file, we can help.